What's up, YouTube? Got a special guest for you, man. And this conversation's been off the chain. Look, everybody wants to get into the solar business. Look, I would say solar is better than roofing. It's more expensive. It allows you to tap into the Inflation Reduction Act. Look, they're sending billions of dollars over to Ukraine, and Americans are like, where's some of this free money for us? And what you don't realize is that this Inflation Reduction Act actually has some insane tax credits, tax availabilities. But that's not the only thing. Our guest here has literally learned that just through mastering these 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 simple basic concepts that he's able to sell lots of solar, advise solar companies. He's built a reputation sort of as the tax guy, the tax expert in the roofing and solar space. And so inside this episode, we're going to like talk to you about how you can tap into a billion dollar program to install free solar and roofing projects and i'll show you how it works but marco what's yeah. up man hey how's it going lee man thanks for the invitation brother all okay. right all Excited right to be here today i'm gonna start with the hard stuff okay let's go man that's what we came to do last time on instagram we were doing a pitch mm -hmm. and uh we did a solar pitch it went viral and we'll do some solar pitches later on it's like a uh, guy went ahead and did his pitch and then everybody in instagram scam 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 you work with a lot of solar companies. Yes. Man, do you see all sides of it? Which, who's, what percentages are ethical versus the ones that are pushing the bar over the line? Well, you know, there's more of the ethical, but they're, it's, they're referring to the old way of selling solar. You mm -hmm. see, people just know about the product. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever talks about the solutions. Man, if you're watching this episode, you ought to know the biggest killer, the biggest thing is killing your money our taxes and inflation. And let me tell you, solar is the vehicle to fix that. And by the way, Lee, those people that, I don't know where people have time to go on Instagram and talk bad when you're trying to put some good content out there, right? Yeah. It's just, I found out something good. Well, you wanna, if you're a content creator, make that happen because when people talk shit, your shit goes viral. One thing I was learned by my mentor, he said, Marcos, they never built, um, they never built statues for critics mm -hmm. or people complaining. They only build statues for the guys that are actually doing something, fixing problems and creating, man, we're going through history in the making and I think we're in the right position. We really have the tools to help every American out there. Yeah, so a lot of my audience, they're roofing salespeople, roofing contractors, contractors, but any home service guys, what's your advice to someone getting into the solar business? Like they wanna get started. The Many of these guys might think, oh, I gotta get equipment, I gotta get, you know, all these things, I gotta learn all this stuff. I know carpentry, or I know kitchens and baths, or I know air conditioning, or I know roofing. Hell, I know a lot of roofers that have a hard time getting started getting into solar. Yeah, definitely, man. Every, I believe the new industry, the new era of the solar industry has opened its doors mm -hmm. for just about any other industry. If you have a book of business, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing business. I'll put it to you. That's why I got into this, Lee. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a problem, a big problem with the credits, solar mm -hmm. credits. That's why people say it's a scam because mm -hmm. they don't understand it and they haven't been able to claim it. Mm -hmm. I saw a problem, I found the solution and because I took that leap of faith to solve that problem, mm -hmm. guys, my book of business just went a hundred times and now my competitors are coming to me and I'm helping them learn this, right? So a lot of industries can benefit, Lee, I, I applaud you for getting the roofing industry. Every roofer should, should be in the solar industry. Everyone. Guys, you know, I was at one of the biggest uh, construction events, Lee, and the roofers were there, right? They were there to learn more about the business. They wanted, they, they've heard of it, but they don't have the right information. They started going to the booths of other solar companies, and they were going after each other. Well, roofing, uh, it's, not, it's not true that the solar is good for you. This and that, they were fighting, right? And as the roofers were coming around to my booth, right, the roofer stops there and says, you're a CPA and you're talking about the solar? Like, can you explain to me why I should consider going roofing? That was the number one question. And I said, let me put it very simple. I'm a client that needs a new roof, okay? And I have company A who's gonna come, give me a quote, he's gonna say, Marcos, it's gonna be 20K. Your insurance is not gonna pay for it. Or I have company B who says, Marcos, I can do your new roof, use the best shingles out there, no down payment, we don't have to call the insurance, okay? I'm gonna eliminate your electric bill, I'm gonna eliminate your gas bill, I'm gonna help you get a 30% tax credit, and you don't even have to pay uh, money for this, I'm gonna give you 12 months no payment. 
which company should I choose, company A or company B? Definitely company B. I said, that's a company working with the solar company. Yeah. No questions asked, the guy started working. That's why we call it the solar insurance retail pitch. And uh, specifically guys that work storms, or work claims. Do you see any special angle for, for guys like us? Man, definitely. You ought to, uh, Lee, you know, I remember doing a claim on my house. <clears throat> it was windy, I come from the desert, right? It was windy, the wind blew some shingles at my whole house. And I was debating about doing the insurance claim. And I did it, I did that claim. Man, even though they say it's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna ding you, the minute I did that claim, my insurance went up. Now I have a bigger house. Now I have a nicer house. Guess what? I'm paying more for insurance just for doing that claim. Where now you have people roofing companies in the solar industry. So you didn't get your roof bought? Pardon me? No, no, no. Ba back then I there was no no roofing company with solar. So that was couple. That, I'm so, talking about. So let's like talk about. Years. Let's talk wind damage, right? Yeah. Your own roof. You call the claim in, right? Yes. So did you have like a roofer meet the adjuster? Uh, yes, they were coming. I remember it was knocking, door knocking. on the door. Yes. So you uh, you had a roofer knock on yes. the door. Yes. Were you thinking, oh my god, okay? So if he, what do you say? If I could get the roof paid for by insurance, I'll be your roofer. Yes. All you have to pay is your deductible. Exactly. And you're like, this sounds like a good deal. Exactly. And it's not going to hurt your insurance. Okay. Score, right. 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 Well, because it's an act of God, it hurts everybody's insurance score. Exactly. So your rates were going up no matter what. So the insurance company recently for Hurricane Ian denied my roof. Mm -hmm but the insurance rates went up 45% this year. Why? Because everybody's doing claims? Yeah, because it went up by zip code and if everybody was Oof. affected, so you're, tre you're treating it like it's an individual thing, like you filed a claim and they raised your rates. Yes. Your rates were going up anyways. Exactly. But, uh, but go ahead, so yeah, well, did he win getting the roof bought? Pardon me? Did he get the roof bought? Yeah, yeah, he, they, they actually, we went metal at that time. He okay. Was like, hey, Marcus, so, it's better so, you just go metal. So you paid for an upgrade? Yes. Out of your pocket or financing? Out of my pocket. No I'm kidding? I'm talking about eight or 10 years ago. Oh, okay. Eight or 10 years so ago. how did he sell you metal roofing? Uh, he was like, hey, it's gonna take a while for us. You know, we're short on 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 uh, equipment and stuff. It's like, you should go metal. It's gonna save you energy. He was selling me uh, an energy saver. No shit, without, <laughs> that's beautiful. Solar, right? That's beautiful. And I went metal, right? Yeah. And then I he said it house. was a lifetime roof. He said the value would add to it. Yes. You were like, gonna be, well, you're you, gonna spend less electricity. It made sense. Yeah. The numbers made sense. But Actually, he, he kind of, did he do like a numbers? Did he work out the numbers for you and yeah. show you? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have bought it without it. You didn't just like like the metal. No, 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 no. no. He he actually he put the numbers. I've been a numbers guy, all of my life. Is mm -hmm. numbers don't lie. If numbers make sense, let's mm -hmm. do the deal, mm -hmm. right? Type of right. thing. Right. So I did it. Why I say this? Mm -hmm. Imagine now it was right now. Mm -hmm. Now we have a roofing company mm -hmm. with the solar system that would have come to my house and said, "Hey, Marcos, we don't even have to do the insurance claim. We got you. No down payment." I'm gonna, by the way, don't you need some repairs inside? Mm -hmm. Don't you, I had a, back then I had a swamp cooler. Don't you mm -hmm. wanna switch from a swamp to an yeah. AC? Hey, let's make your home energy efficient. Mm -hmm. You know, not only electricity is going up guys, in my town, gas prices, city of Las Cruces, double the price on every homeowner. Mm -hmm. What if now I can turn my house energy efficient? Mm -hmm. I'm eliminating electric bill, mm -hmm. I'm eliminating gas bill, mm -hmm. I'm getting the repairs, adding value to my home, Okay, guys, mm -hmm. and I'm eliminating my taxes. Mm. It is what we call a no-brainer deal. Mm. Everybody out there, Lee, right now, the reason why roofers haven't jumped into solar because mm -hmm. they've only been taught about a product. Mm -hmm. Who likes the solar system on top of the roof? Some people think they don't even look nice. All right, let me tell you a story. All right, because you got two thirds of the equation right. Yeah. Everybody that are experts can always learn. And I'm eager to get into your personal story because I want to hear about like growing up El Paso, Las Cruces, a lot of topics that we can talk about, the border, Definitely. you know, and some bi billionaire Oof. families. The richest woman I've ever had dinner with is a Latin woman. Mm -hmm. The lawyers, we, we ended up, we did the lawyer uh, YMCA in oh, partnership. Okay. So we'll yeah. talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. But the part that you missed is the solar insurance retail hack. Okay. And this is what I call roof claim to real estate. Nice. All right. So I had a sales rep come in okay. and he had a 14 year old roof. And I said, bro, why are you just worried about selling solar? He's like, I think solar sounds sexy. I'm like, well, look, if you can get a new roof paid for by your insurance, you want it, right? He's like, yeah. 
And I'm like, dude, the insurance company is going to drop you anyway. So we're going to file a claim. We're going to get you 60K for your roof. Nice. He's like, man, but solar, I want solar. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. This is how it works. It's pretty simple. We're going to get a copy of your power bill. You're going to keep your insurance claim check. Yep. Okay. You're going to keep your money. that. It's your money. All right. We're going to roll in your roof. We're going to roll in your, your solar deal. Mm -hmm. And hell, we'll roll in your AC. Nice. And, and and here's the thing. When we put it into one payment, you qualify for 30% off in this Inflation Reduction Act. Exactly. So the total here for the roof and all these things, about 100 k mm -hmm. So you're getting – now, do you pay $30,000 in taxes every year? Every, the reality is that everybody pays taxes, guys. Very few people, very few percentage don't pay taxes. Majority of people uh, pay taxes. Uh, don't take my word. I want you to get your pay, last pay stub. Every family in the U.S. is paying at least a hundred or two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a week. Even if you're an independent contractor, you're paying taxes, and these credits last forever. But the bottom line is, a hundred thousand dollar job, he gets a sixty thousand dollar check, he gets a hundred thousand dollar financed, and how much is the payments? Well, the payments are maybe a little bit more than his electric bill, maybe twenty five percent more, but. The thing is, is he gets $30,000 back from Uncle Sam. He got 60000 from his insurance claim. He's got $90,000 to put down on an Airbnb investment. With 90000 bucks, he can easily get into a Florida Airbnb investment and make big money off rentals. That's the roof claim to real estate hack. It starts with getting a free roof. Then you get the deal through the Inflation Reduction Act to double profits with solar. Then you roll it all up into a piece Come of real on. estate with the Come commission on. and the average commission for a roofing and solar job, even a small little shingle job is going to be $10,000 in your pocket. And so people are like, I just sell solar. I just sell roofing. You're stupid. Mm -hmm. You sell it together. Solar yes. insurance retail. So if you'd have filed a claim, mm -hmm. kept the check, mm -hmm. rolled it into the whole process. See, it's not just the guy that's the retail roofer or the retail solar guy. It's the guy that can, work all three angles exactly and that's that's the solar insurance retail angle that's a pro mm -hmm. that is a pro and i want to i want to throw something in there okay Lee, i want to throw something you said it might be more expensive than your electric bill yeah hey john if we do this deal today john you see everybody thinks the itc credit the 30 mm percent -hmm. you gotta wait till next year well john i'm here to tell you if you sign today if you sign today john those thirty thousand. We can already, you can already start taking home more money this coming Friday. I'll show you how to go tax exempt at work. So you're bringing home those extra hundred bucks. Dude, we have to get inside of that. Um, basically, bro, let's hear the background, man. I mean, look, did you just come out of like the womb to say, I'm going to be a CPA? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you grow up? It actually chose me, right? I became a dad. I'm excited. It's the first time I have my son here with me. Oh, cool, man. Uh, I became a father at the That's age. That's how I grew up. I, I was on the job with my dad, man. I learned a lot that way. Exactly, man. We got to teach our kids what they're not teaching them in school. Is that right? Right. right. So I became a father at the age of 18. And I, back then, minimum wage was five bucks an hour. And I'm like, I, I, can, I saw my parents struggle. I said, I cannot go down that same hole. Mm -hmm. Right. So it kind of chose me. Mm -hmm. I, w I saw a hiring post that says uh, bookkeeping and tax services. Mm -hmm. I went in there. I said, uh, I don't have a high school degree, but I am bilingual and I'm a fast learner and I'm good with computers and numbers. Mm -hmm. And I learned it uh, within a year. I started doing taxes out of my garage. Mm -hmm. And now I've been in the industry for a little bit over 17 years. And uh, two years ago, I decided to go all in on the solar industry because we saw a problem. Mm -hmm. You see, I've considered myself a problem solver, okay? And uh, I saw a problem lead. People were coming into, into my office. You had the retirees, people that are already on Social Security, coming excited, thinking they were gonna get a $20,000 uh, check from the government because their solar agent told them or made it seem that they were gonna get it in year one. So I saw a problem, and then I saw people that didn't have tax liabilities, single moms, making very little income, telling them, oh, I'm supposed to get my 9,000 that I usually get. On top of that, another 30, right? And it was my job to explain to them. Nah. No. You know, <laughs> that's not how it works. You got scammed. Yeah, so, no, well, this is the different. That's what majority accountants will say. You got scammed, go mm -hmm. talk to an attorney. They right. still do it as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. They're still doing that, guys. Yeah. Why does that have a problem? A lot of people get bad reviews. A lot of companies 
A lot, yeah. of, a lot of solar gets a bad reputation because of it. Right now, deals are being canceled mm -hmm. because they spoke to a tax preparer that mm -hmm. told them, tax preparer, CPA told them solar is not good for you. Yeah. You guys, and it, it just, just mind blowing. So I saw that and I said, man, it's a problem. Let me see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And the more that I studied, the more that I learned about the credit, the mm -hmm. more that I liked it. It is my opinion. It is the best tax credit currently the tax code for homeowners business owners, investors, and just about anybody that wants to save money. That's who the credit is for. To the agency feds. Okay, let's break down the Inflation Reduction Act and yeah. the tax credit. Quickly, yes. go. Inflation Act, okay, right now, the credits for your kids, the kids' credits right now, a lot of taxpayers, their kids' credits were cut by half, mm. meaning people are getting half of the refund that they used to get or having to write a check to the IRS. You know who are the only ones that are not being affected? Who? people that went solar. Oh, wow. They are not being affected, they're getting more refund, okay? So I saw that, I found the solution, and then here's the thing. The credit is good when you know the right strategies, when you're working with the right team, and when you know how to apply it, okay? And that's what I've been doing now. I've been dedicating myself to go out and train solar, solar agents, teaching them how the credit really works, and teaching other accountants. So I've got a loose roofer interpretation. Okay. Here we go. You say it's the best tax credit, the Inflation Reduction Act. You get 30% tax credit on anything that you spend that's in result to energy efficiency or solar. Mm -hmm. So if you have to replace the roof with the solar project, as long as it's rolled into one loan, then there is no issue. You can even roll an HVAC unit into it because it has a lot to do with energy efficiency, maybe even windows, doors, all these things. As long as it's in one loan, you qualify for 30% off. Now, 30% is the average profit margin of a contractor. So that means that the homeowner is getting it for cost, which is practically free. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is it's all paid for by Uncle Sam? Exactly, but even better. Now, a lot of people, I could already see people uh, commenting on this video, Lee. You're crazy. As a matter of fact, I want to share this. Yesterday I got tagged on that, but I want to jump into that. Yes, it is 30%, my friends, and even beyond that. You know the right strategy? We can even help a homeowner go even beyond the 30%. Marcus, are you crazy? Hey, I'm here to tell you, man. I've been helping a lot of people. As a matter of fact, I've been amending their returns for the past three years and getting that money. Let me just make this clear, guys. When IRS does the law, they do it for you to go out and, 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 and apply that law. If you do what the IRS wants you to do, you shouldn't be paying taxes. Hmm. The problem, everybody's doing the opposite. When people don't qualify for the credit, then we teach them how to turn their solar system, their whole project into an expense, hmm. and they get to write it off. There is a way, guys, and I wanna drop this here, Lee, that's what I, I gave my two cents the other day, is never go to your accountant and ask them, hey, is this a valid write-off? Because the simple answer is gonna be no. You ought to be asking your accountant, how do I make it a valid write-off? How do I qualify for the credit? Because there's always a way when you know the law. There you go. So what do you think the biggest people, biggest place people fell in explaining it? Three biggest mistakes solar people, roofers, solar pros are doing. Number one, telling people, I am not a tax advisor. I am not an accountant. I cannot give you advice. Go talk to your accountant. Biggest mistake, man. If you're watching this, do not, do not send your client to talk to their accountant unless you're 100% their accountant is up to date with the solar credit. That's going to kill deals. That's, he's not, he's not going to answer you. You wouldn't go, if your tooth is hurting, Lee, why would you go to the eye doctor? Why would you go to the eye doctor to get a check? I want to go to the dentist and I want to go to the best dentist. Is that right? So number one, that's the biggest mistake. Guys, learn this. Yes, you're not a tax pro. You're not a tax advisor, but you should know the basics and you should know who to send your client to. If you don't know where to send them, I can find you a good accountant. Number two, okay? Uh, so number one is explaining to them. Number two. To, yeah, we're going to number two here. Is making it seem, making it seem that they're gonna get the tax credit in year one. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest mistake. I'm here to tell you 99.9% .9 of your clients will not get the tax credit in year one. And it's okay, it's even better. The credit was made to last for up to 10 years, guys. As a tax advisor, I'm, I, I enjoy it and I like to tell my clients, uh, John is not only gonna help you in year one, I got you covered for the next five, seven or 10 years, guys. That is huge. 
Okay, never. Ma- That's the biggest complaint right now, guys. People feel they got they lied think, to them. They think it's going to get come back a first year. Exactly. I, I've never explained. I uh, never even understood that myself. So Ex- why does it not come back in the first year? Because uh, it's based on their tax liability. Right. Okay. So it's, only if they paid a shitload of taxes. Well, yeah, they got to be earning. Uh, it all depends. Three things. Affected. So basically, you got to earn. Because I mean, a big system is a hundred thousand dollar system. And that would be a 30K rebate. Mm -hmm. And basically $30,000 in taxes, you would have to make at least, you know, 120,000 or so, right? Not not even at that rate. Yeah. Uh, More than about three or 400,000. Oh, really? Yeah, we're talking about doctors will get it. Okay, they will get it in year one and they need a little bit more. And I want to touch on that. So majority of people are not going to get it. Now, here's the thing, my friends. It's the best credit, guys. This credit not only helps you for future taxes, it also helps you for present taxes, and it helps you for past due taxes, my friends. Come on, okay? So never will get it in year one, okay? Explain to them, okay? Now, here's how you figure it out, Lee. We have 30,000, is that right? Okay, get their last pay stub. How much taxes do you pay on a weekly basis? Divide that by 52, that gives you their tax liability. That's how much, and then you divide that by the, whatever is the credit, that's how many months they're gonna go, how many years is gonna take them to get the credit. Do you nice. follow? Guys, right now, people do not have to wait until next year to get the credit. People are upset. They're, I got, I got we're, something we're allowed for, to cuss a little bit in this. I got something this, right? for your course real quick. Yeah. You put a calculator together and a system for you to fill out the table and for you to basically put the numbers in, and that would be an amazing tool you right, we're gonna drop it here, but yes, we've already creating that and even more. Oh, nice. We're already creating that and even more, my friends, is what we call the no-brainer deal. Mm-hmm. We can put, we have, you have the vehicle to go into a homeowner's home right now mm-hmm. and change their financial status, mm-hmm. get them more money this coming paycheck, mm. okay? And last but not least, Lee, I wanna drop this because a lot of people right now, they're getting those calls. A lot of clients that went solar are gonna watch this video they either went and did their taxes online, didn't get the credit. Mm-hmm. They went to a tax preparer and said, no, you don't pay taxes. They went to a CPA and says, hey, talk to the attorney, do a BBA complaint on them. They're not gonna pay you back, guys. A lot of people are watching this. If you didn't get your tax credit, mm-hmm. if you didn't get it, you have three years to amend that return. Okay. Three years to get that money back. And do not, do not advise, do me a favor, do not advise your client. This is the biggest problem. The, you, they do the presentation, says 30,000. Oh, client, when you get the 30,000 in year one, put that money towards the loan so your payment doesn't go up. Yeah. Guys. It happens all the time. It's built into the presentations for solo. Solar companies are getting sued for this. Well, this is a problem with solo. Solo makes it a part of their presentation. I mean, they literally include it in the math. It's deceptive as a software. It's the software I use and I wasn't even aware. It's the worst worst financial mistake I'm getting you can schooled get. on this shit right the fuck now mm-hmm. seriously because i know can I my, fix I, that problem for you i know i have clients that are that are that are having misinformation i can fix that problem for you guys hey by the way watch this video twice listen to this record it and you get those calls don't let them call don't let your client get to an attorney or to the banks you get on the phone because they can reverse the deal now in solar the way it works is when someone goes and cries foul i've been ripped off what happens a lot of people don't roofers don't understand this i'm gonna teach what yeah. happens to the owner of the of the sales organization if if people complain and, and they and they reverse the loan reverse the loan the solar company will come after you for that money it comes out of your commission yeah, exactly it's happened it can i can i make this I think then, you this know what's funny the salesperson <laughs> still wants to get paid yeah. <laughs> isn't that funny oh, do you think the salesperson should get paid no. Come on, let duh. Me, but can you believe they would ask for it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, for They're sure. That's fucking stupid. Well, it's... They caused the problem. Yeah, it's a problem. But they caused the problem. But it's my problem. I didn't train them right. Question and I gave them a question you And I gave them a software that calculates it as if they could get it back in one year. That's not fair or right. No. It's manipulative. And even if they did, Lee, even if they did... Even if well, no did. wonder I feel like solar is a scammy business. They hey, fucking slip. They they slip that shit on me. Whether whether it was the first person that showed me Titan was Titan and Solo, but essentially, um, God damn it, I I never did my research. I'm um, here, I, man. This is this is the exciting part, man. We joined this <laughs> industry to solve problems. Are the exciting parts everyone that sells solar is stupid? <laughs> no, not at all. I think everyone <laughs> they that need sells your help. Solar, 
the biggest problem right now <laughs> is we're going through you guys remember blockbuster era right yeah. i remember every friday i would go with my dad with my brothers it was our friday thing to go and pick the movie make sure we got there first and the other family because the new release was there you guys remember that right yeah. netflix comes around the guy comes and talks to blockbuster and tells him hey things are going to change things are going to change people are not going to come to blockbuster anymore blockbuster says are you crazy we've been doing this for years hey i have a model I found the solution that people can get the movies without leaving their homes at a lower cost and they'll be renting every day, not just on Friday. Mm. Blockbuster says, you're crazy. Gives them the pitch, sounds like, hey, let's do it together. They don't do it. Where's Blockbuster right now? My son does not know who Blockbuster is. Mm -mm. He does know my six-year-old and everybody in my family in Mexico know what's next. But the damn movies suck, though. The movies were so much better in the age of Blockbuster. <laughs> Production you, true. That is for true. real, dude. But the business model, who's making money? Okay, I get it. It's all about the money. <laughs> what happened who's to the good business? fucking <laughs> movies, man? Hey, I miss Toys R Us days, believe me. Yeah. I don't want to uh, leave the subject. It's changing. That's the problem. It's not that, that they're, uh, for lack of a better word, that they're stupid. It's just that they don't know what they don't know. You're talking to me. They don't know what they don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't they, know they, what they, you they, don't they, know. You know. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Hey, man. We're here to teach you. Okay. When I put this content out there, yeah, you just say people are gonna create it. They're gonna. It's okay. I'm I've not explained. Here to make friends. Do you I'm know how many? Tell. What percentage of customers I've explained this correctly to? Well, we're just in my. I've been in the business for like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, let me zero, <laughs> zero fucking people. They're mad. They're mad at you. <laughs> I know my own family's probably mad at me. Well, I'm gonna fix this, man. I'm gonna fix. My it. sister, she's a teacher. She probably doesn't have enough money to get all the tax credit back. And they should. And I explained it. Well, this is the missing oh part my of your league. God. Why would, let's say you're my solar guy, right? My brother-in-law, he's a Dave Ramsey guy too, man. He's going <laughs> to, I need you need you to talk to my brother-in-law. Let me ask you a question. If you're watching this, you're listening to this. Let's mm -hmm. just hear through this right now. Mm -hmm. You're going to get, let's just say, it's a th let's keep it simple, 30,000. Mm -hmm. Let's just assume that you do get that 30,000 a let's year. Let's say two one. teachers, they pay, they both make 60 grand a year. And so. Okay. Like Those two teachers combined incomes one hundred twenty thousand, and their system is fifty thousand. Okay. So they get fifteen thousand in tax credit. Mm -hmm. Would two teachers qualify for all of it back in one year to no. pay? Oh God! But it's even better. I'm excited for this, man. Come on, let me teach you here. Let me ask. You, let's keep the teachers. I like that because okay. that's a more common. Yeah, it's like more, more common. Yeah. 120, they have 15K. Mm -hmm. 120, they're probably gonna use, I'm just gonna use a simple number, mm -hmm. 5K this year. Mm. Okay, here it goes. Teacher, from month one to month 18, your payment for the system, for the roof, everything is gonna be 100, uh, 200 bucks. I'm just using a, an example, mm -hmm. 200 bucks, okay? At month 19, if you don't return the 15,000, your payment is gonna go up to 270. I'm just using an example, guys, okay? Oh man, that's a lot. It's gonna put me in bad. Okay, I get it. This is the teacher. Does it make any, What's? let's run the numbers. What's 70 times 12? Um, like yeah. 840, 800, something yeah. like that? 840, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gonna go, teacher, it's gonna go up $840. Run the numbers. You're gonna be spending $840 a year, right? They're super scared, they're freaking out. Hey, but don't worry, you're gonna get 15,000. Lie, you're only gonna get five. But even if they got it, Lee, even if they got it, does it make any financial sense to give up $15,000 to save $800 a year? No. No, it makes no financial sense. So teacher, even if you got the 15, do not give the money. It is an option. What you tell your teacher is, teacher, they, I've been on this call, people are upset. They're about to go to an attorney. They're mm -hmm. freaking out because their payment went up. $1,200 a year, mm -hmm. and they only got 3,000. Client, run the numbers. Why would you give up 3,000 to say $1,200 a year? Get those $3,000, pay off debt that you're paying higher interest, get rid of that payment so you can put more money in your pocket. And by the way, oh, you're, yeah, Marcos, but it's 100 bucks more that I have to pay on a monthly basis. Pull up your pay stuff. How much are they taking? They're taking $50 every week, that's 200? Let's, let me teach you how to go tax exempt. So now I'm putting 200 bucks extra in your pocket. Keep the keep the 5,000. You're you're taking home $200 extra every every month now. 
use 100 for the extra payment and the other one put it to your debt. Guys, run the numbers. It makes no sense. You can solve a lot of clients and we can help them. What's the third biggest mistake? That, that was the biggest mistake right there. There it is. Number one is telling your client, I am not an accountant. Okay, you, you, them. you have to be trained and educated and you need to have a tax guy to advise them too, which is yes. your company. Solar Pro, yes. Okay, great. And then number two? Number two is making it seem that they're going to get everything in year one and paying the payment. And That's number right. th number three. The number three, guys, if you're the number third one is the big one, man. Number third is the big one. You're at the homeowner's home. You got them pre-qualified for 100000 Their system is 40000 50000 And you close. Man, it just hurts my eyes when I see the stories on Instagram. Con uh, approval amount, 100000 Contract amount, 40000 Guys, you're doing your client a disservice. If you got your client qualified for 100000 and their system is 40000 and you're not offering them home improvements, a new roof, you're not offering them to add value to their home, you're leaving money on the table for that client and you're helping, you're losing money for your client. There's the bomb right there because the truth is, is that there's an industry of solar sales pros that don't know how to sell roofing. Solar pros, you're ripping off customers. You're doing them a disservice. When their roof is seven years old, they're gonna have to replace the roof. The cost and detach and reset, it's gonna throw off how much they save. If you address it right now, they have the opportunity to save with the credits. If you do not address the issue, you are being manipulative and you are not doing the customer service. And one of my guys comes across and you compete up against the roofing a solar guy when they give us these objections you know what we tell them well we're not solar guys we're not solar sales guys we're roofers that do solar we're not going to sell you solar if it doesn't make sense all you punks need to understand and what i'm missing out on is the hvac mm -hmm. tell us about how hvac companies are missing out by not offering solar because i had one you know what his biggest complaint for revenue was sure. guess mm -hmm. it's too cool they're not exactly. using their ac and I said, how many customers do you have? And he said, I don't know, maybe 400 a year for the last five years. I said, you have 2,000 people, a fucking gold mine of people to go back, offer a free check on their AC, and while you're there, get a copy of their power bill and tell them to do a free energy evaluation. That's the solution, man. That's the solution, guys. Drop your egos. Drop your... Uh, I, I like to refer in an industry where there's a lot of solar agents, a lot, just like there's a lot of real estate agents, mm -hmm. there's a lot of roofings. There's very few pros, guys. Be the pro. Learn this stuff, man. Mm -hmm. We could we could help the homeowners. We could help the industry. Yeah. What's your HVAC, advice? One of other? these one of these guys getting into the business. You see them fail. Um, doesn't really matter about their red line or their their partner. A lot of times it has to do with, you know, tell me the ingredients of what you think makes a good uh, partner for solar, whether it's in installation or in sales. And for someone that's new in solar, what are their chances of success if they don't have someone like that? Well, to be honest, uh, Lee, right now, I would much rather train a new realtor, a roofer, a contractor than a solar guy that says I have millions of sales and I've been in the industry for 10 years. Because you know why? They, they've got used to lying. It's a mindset. But they've already got used to lying. Well, they, they have the wrong information. They don't want to. They don't, don't want to change. Train. Yeah. So change. How many people do you think just lie to themselves? And when you talk to them, they just keep doing it the old way. I think that's a majority of, of humans. That's that's natural. People don't like change. They don't like to adapt to new things. Mm -hmm. I learned one way, and that's and that's because that's how our parents train us since we're little. Mm -hmm. So it's a mindset, man. One thing. Any is, big case studies of big solar companies that use you? They're doing this on a large scale. Yes, I've been I've been fortunate to consult the top top guys. Top uh, break down a, break down some of the secrets from those guys. Maybe give me an example. I think the the thing that um, that's the biggest thing that I get is I I, I went to those conference, mm -hmm. I watched them, and I've seen a lot of motivation. Mm -hmm. I've seen a, like even if the client shuts the door on you, you still gotta keep going, guys. Fluff like like you're you know mm -hmm. that, and I saw a lot of ego and a lot of look the things like that, right? Flashy mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Look at my watch. It used to work in the old days, mm -hmm. my friends. Now we gotta come. People have it's to an see educated you. market. Yeah, there's more exactly. competition. There's more competition. You no longer can sell a product. You gotta sell a solution. Mm -hmm. You no longer are an agent. You gotta be a pro. You got companies like Pink Energy. You know the story on that? No. You don't. No. Out of Michigan. No. Um, no. so I don't really know the whole story, but basically, you know, the guy's an influencer. He has a podcast, and he might be a great guy, mm -hmm. but his whole deal was. He 
sold a lot of systems probably with methods like this and got a lot of complaints and if you do business like this eventually it'll catch up to you mm -hmm. now he blamed it on problems with a system and basically the system's not producing what they said they were going to produce i mean in selling solar in michigan half the days you're not going to get as much production mm -hmm. and they were selling it for a lot of money and they were probably not explaining the incentive correctly anyways he had to change names and shut down billion dollar company you know reverse it's lots of uh, money i mean they get into a production flow and they can't they 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 can't build out of their their hole they go under you've seen it have you seen this happen yeah i've heard of the of the news i've heard of all the bad it's I, I i think a lot of there's a lot of frustration in the industry because mm -hmm. they're still just selling solar and i guys, think it's you these, gotta stop selling these, solar. these mercenary sales are, guys they, yeah. they 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 lie cheat and still to get a deal and then the owner wants to make as much money as possible and so he he doesn't do a good enough job of holding them accountable and it's like solar salesmen gone wild mm -hmm. and uh how many of these big organizations have this problem I think a, a bunch of people, I think if, if you've been in the, stream, in the industry for a couple of years, mm. I think they have got problems. They have unhappy clients. They have the bad name. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to say they're a solar agent. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you're in the industry, you got to be proud of what you're doing, man. Yeah. I am the solar tax guy. I tell yeah. people I'm the solar tax guy. Yeah. And people come up to me. Man, no I, wonder why people say solar is a scam. They, they, yeah, they start calling me and say, Marcos, I've gotten big CPAs. I, when I started this, guys, so I want to think three things that I'm going to put here. When I went into solar, I started going out to my colleagues in town. I said, man, I found a way to help our clients and help the market. They didn't want to listen. Stop telling clients it is a good credit mark because you're lying. Stop telling them it's a good investment. I said, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. And I went and did it. I, I learned. This is the deal, guys. People is the mindset. Here you go. Scarcity mindset. Okay. Complaining mindset. I know I know more than you. I've been it. I have made more money than you. I know more than you. I don't want to learn. And letting and not doing the best for your client. When you're at a homeowner's home, guys, I freak, when I get to get on a call, my excitement level, even if I had a bad day, my excitement level is off the roof. Why? I'm already envisioning the before and the after. Mm -hmm. I know my this client in one year is already gonna be better. As a matter of fact, the minute you leave the house, he's already better in a financial place. Yeah, and if you don't believe that in all of your being, that every single person is better with you than without you, and that you're not advi you're, you're not an ethical guy. See, confidence, everybody's like, fake it till you make it and all this other bullshit. Fuck that. Get competent. Get really good. Save people a shitload of money. Make people a fucking pay out their homes faster. Then, whenever you're sitting down closing, you don't sound like commission breath. It sounds like authenticity. Exactly. And tell me, because I want to, for homeowners, where are the biggest places that people get ripped off with solar? Well, like, I think the model was initially, hey, by the way, can we all just agree? Even if they went solar a couple years ago when it wasn't that good, guys, I think I, I joined in the right movement and the right time, right? But when it wasn't as best, can we all just agree on one thing? What's the other alternative? Yeah. Electric company, guys. You see, this is how I do it. When people come and say, Marcos, solar is not a good investment. You're lying, solar is not good. I say, you know what, you're right. The big guys, CPAs, you say, you know what, older than me with the gray hair. I don't have gray hair yet. I, I, I am going bald, but I don't have gray hair. Uh, they come up to me and I say, you know what, you're right. Solar is not for everyone. It's not for everyone. You see, right now, energy industry is controlled 100% by the electric company. Is that right? They decide when to raise the rates, they decide when to shut down your electricity and you have no control whatsoever, okay? The old way of selling solar, the pie, was divided into three pieces. The bigger piece was being kept by the banks. The second biggest uh, piece was being kept by the solar company. But the client got a, a small piece of the pie, which was good, and it was solving one problem, eliminating electric bill. That model is no longer working, guys. Let me tell you what's the new era of the solar industry. The new solar industry has made that division, three pieces in the pie, but it's leveled the playing field, where now the banks keep 33% 33 of the business, the solar companies keep 33% of the business, and the homeowner can keep 34% of the business. And if you can learn this model and be able to show up with more than 10 benefits of going solar, my friends, that's the Netflix. That's what we're creating. That's what if you're if you're listening to this podcast, you're already thinking about you're crazy. My friends, okay, we don't want to 
We don't want to train everyone. Guys, if you can envision that, you can learn this, my friends, together. Not only are we going to change this industry, we're going to save the American people right now with what's happening. And they're going to talk about us in the future. So my guys watching this, they want to get in the solar business. They don't want to rip people off. I know that. So I want to help them. So let's go through some different ways people can get ripped off, even without the, um, you know, explaining the tax credit okay. the wrong way. Um, somebody comes in and, and charges uh, a lot of money for a system. Um, the system cannot offset all the power they use, you know, uh, and you tell them that if you spend more, you can get a hundred percent offset. Do you see this causing a lot of problems? Like people not having that explained to them correctly? Yes, that, a lot of the complaints, right? What's the biggest complaint? Well, my neighbor went solar and she's in a worse position. She still gets what? An electric bill mm -hmm. and a solar bill. Man, that's putting your client in what? In a worse position. Mm -hmm. I think your goal should be, I gotta leave my client in a better position. If numbers don't work, make sense. Mm -hmm. There might be a couple out there, I haven't seen them, but if numbers don't make sense, guys, don't do the deal. Don't do the deal. Do only what's gonna make you feel proud. Guys, no motivation. You can take every motivation of, start uh, listening to Tony Robbins and get motivated. Guys, you wanna know how, what motivation is? Changing people's lives, mm -hmm. leaving people in a better place. Okay, so if you're gonna leave them in a worse place, don't do it, man. Learn the things, guys, but I, I still think it's the same thing, Lee. If you're going to, that's still selling just solar. I wanna go into a homeowner's home. I wanna look at their problems. Mm -hmm. Solar is, electric bill is not a big problem for them. So talk to us a little bit. I, I, there's some new products out even about like increasing the efficiency. There was uh, something at a recent conference somebody was telling me I needed to check out. Know anything like this that you can add on for efficiencies to ACs or anything like that? I mean, do you know anything about how maybe you could add more efficiency to a home without maybe adding more panels? So yes, uh, technology is always increasing, right? They're coming out with new technology. Of course, 10 years down the road, there's gonna be smaller panels producing more energy. That's the truth. Energy, uh, technology always keeps increasing, okay? That is 100%. But uh, yes, like I, I recently, I try to stay as an expert in the financial part, right? And when I need this information, I, I go and talk to the top guy in that place. But I do know this thing, gas bill went doubled in my town. Every time we go now to a homeowner's home, we're looking at ways not only to eliminate 100% of their electric bill, but also their gas bill. How? By going into, for example, electric water heater, uh, heater heating pumps for the AC units, right? For the, um, so they don't have to use the gas line now. Mm -hmm. uh, electric stoves. What can I turn energy efficient, mm -hmm. better windows, so my clients stop using the gas. Mm -hmm. Now we're eliminating two bills, guys. Mm -hmm. Imagine you show up at homeowner's home now. They're thinking you're there to talk about something. You're like, oh, I'm here to talk about gas. Didn't your gas go up? You see, we're changing the narrative. Guys, there's more solutions. So yes, there's a lot of things you can do to make it more energy efficient. Uh, eliminate the gas, eliminate the electric bill. Hey, nothing more exciting than eliminating their taxes, adding money to their pocket, and adding value to their homes. Okay, so I think it's important for everyone watching this to figure out how they can implement you into their to their plan. How do, how do they get you on, the, on their team? And how do you help educate them or get them to where they need to be? Definitely, guys. So we've put this together. I've called a no-brainer deal. Uh, <clears throat> I was launching the course and I came out with like a 10 list of names of the possible names, right? Everybody's telling me, well, call it the ITC secrets, call it the solar tax. And at the middle of the night, I come and I say, you know what we need to do? I need to be able to help solar pros offer a no-brainer deal. What does that mean? A no-brainer deal is where you eliminate the electric bill, you eliminate their gas bill, you eliminate their taxes, and any excuses for not going solar, basically making it a, a no-brainer. And we put that together, and uh, I can't wait to launch. We are working with technology. We are incorporating AI into our model where we're literally gonna have access for every company that's, you know, we're consulting. We're gonna be able to audit their deals, give them a deal that's gonna be a no-brainer. So when they go and talk to their clients, it's already a no-brainer. Hmm. Like, I, I gotta- I, I Whether gotta it's it you're up. adding a roof or you're adding home efficiency or you're adding, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, and uh, I gotta talk about this because part of this idea came from my father. Mm -hmm. When I told my dad, hey, I'm gonna, we're gonna go solar on your home, 
guys, it was like pulling teeth. Can you believe oh. it? My own father. Yeah, tell me. us about that. <laughs> and I said, man, this guy, but there's a reason. He helped me come up with a no-brainer deal. Oh, I man. said, I got to be able to explain to my father with like explaining to a kindergarten why he should go solar. And then I, I use reverse psychology. I said, dad, let's leave solar at the, at the side. I said, I'm the electric company. I'm showing up at your home. You already have solar. And I'm here to make you a better deal. I said, dad, I'm gonna take away the panels from your roof. You gotta give back the 30%. You gotta give back the home improvements and I'm gonna get you a better contract. You know that $150 a month set that you have for 20, 25 years? Dad, I'm gonna switch it for a better deal, I'm gonna give you a lifetime contract and every year I get to raise your electricity. And he goes, oh shoot, talk to me how solar works. <laughs> so, it's a solution, man. Hey, let me tell you. It's a good takeaway close. Yeah, man, it's a solution. Guys, There's a, people are worried. They're listening to the news. They're listening to the news, they're worried. Tax are going up, inflation. And I'm super excited right now. Why? We're about to see the biggest transfer of wealth in the US. Okay, you gotta have the right information. You gotta have the right strategies. My friends, it is the season, it is what is separation season. Yeah. It is a season that's what's gonna make you different. Uh, I wanna close with this. We're getting uh, closer to the closing. I've seen a lot of frustration. I've seen a lot of complaints. On my way, leave from El Paso to Florida, I usually fall asleep on the plane because that's where I catch my sleeping time, right? No, no time to sleep right now, I usually sleep. Well, I came on my way with no sleeping because one of my buddies tagged me on one of the solar groups and it's about to help people with objections, to help them get a better closing. Guys, it didn't feel like that. It's the complaining group. People complaining about banks, how they're making it unfair. Just a lot of complaints and it feels like people are going into the def defense mode. They, they're saying, oh, I'm gonna sell less. Like, everybody's playing defense. That's not, that's not how you win the game. You gotta play some offense. So watching this video, man, it's separation season. It's a time you gotta do things different. If you're selling solar and you're not selling high ticket home improvements to go alongside of it, you're fucking retarded. Sorry about the fridge. Probably can beef that out for everybody that's from Utah. But <laughs> believe me, I got a family and I stand behind all my promises and we can teach you uh, how to sell everything he's talking about. And whether it's windows and doors or it's a roof or it's an AC, rolling it all into one contract only means that you're doing better service for your client, you're making more money. And this money that the bank's charging, I mean, it's more reasonable if you're getting a bigger tax free credit. Exactly, man. And we're about to fix that. I want to leave this. So we talked about separation season. Mm -hmm. Guys, don't take our word for this. Don't take, just go into a home, the next home you're going to knock right now. Mm -hmm. Do not go in selling solar going offering more things, you're gonna feel better, man. You're gonna get motivated and you're gonna crush it. And everybody, we have the solution to help every contractor out there. You talked about the HVAC. I know we probably gotta have to do episode two, but here it goes. HVAC, everybody right now, everyone, regardless if you're doing roofing, construction, HVAC, they're competing for prices. They know somebody down the road that's gonna do it for less. Scar City mindset. I got, in order to get all every deal, I gotta charge less. They're hurting the industry. Mm -hmm. They're hurting their business. They're gonna go bankrupt, guys. Do not be the person that's the cheapest person in town. You ought to be the most expensive, but the one that brings more value. I just helped a local HVAC guy that was thinking of quitting already. He cannot compete with his competitors' prices. He says, Marcos, I don't know how they're doing it. They're either underpaying people. I don't know how they're doing it. They're just working to work, but not to make a profit. I said, hey, it's a different game. Let me teach you how solar can fix this for you. Be the guy that sells the most expensive. By the way, tell the client, I'm gonna get you the cheap. The, the guy I talked to, yeah. man, he hung up on me after I told him it was uh, $10,000 for the mastermind. He was like, click. And he was a HVAC guy with thousands of projects, but so many people are unwilling to step outside of their comfort zone. It's such a challenge. I've done this my whole life. For me, it was roofing. So. You know, even saying that I wanted to start in solar and doing it, like it's been years, but you know, the reality is, is like uh, this month's probably gonna be our biggest month in history and uh, we're gonna be using you a lot. So sure. you need to come to the Blue Collar American Dream Conference. We're locked in for September 1st through 3rd, guys. Um, look, we've got some big speakers already. Uh, Dave Meltzer, Wes Watson, 
Brad Lee, but we're going to be releasing speakers all throughout the next six months. And I'm going to be doing a fight live second day of the event. Don't know who I know that if you're a blue collar and you train, I don't care what you train, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, jujitsu. We want you to have the opportunity to fight in the blue collar fight club and we get you matched up. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Like, uh, <laughs> we're all in a fight for our American dream. And I feel like every man should go in the cage and, and, and should feel what it's like, you know, uh, fighting. Uh, it's fun for me. It's just sort of like a hobby that's turned into an obsession. But okay. everyone likes, uh, honestly, they either love me or hate me. And the ones that can hate me, uh, they, they can get to see me get knocked out or, or, or whatever. Uh, so it's a must attend for it's a must <laughs> attend for everybody. I got you. And uh, you know, the my goal with it is, you know, always getting new people into the business, getting into new spaces. Um, you know, whenever people are trying to become a social media influencer, you know, it's like do what you love. For me, I I started doing that, loving it. And then connecting with these guys, whether it's Jorge Masvidal, Kamar Usman, Dustin Poirier, these guys have huge followings, mm -hmm. and yet they're very accessible, down-to-earth people. And so, you know, since basically the world is an influencer economy, you know, this blue-collar fight club, well, we're definitely having some big UFA, UFC stars. Already, uh, Gilbert Burns is probably, we're fi finishing up the deal. You know, it's him versus Jorge. And, wow. and uh, I don't know, you, see, you know, there's a fight in Miami coming up, right? Uh, I've heard about it. Yes, uh, Alex Pereira, mm -hmm. and uh, oh man, it's going to be a good good nice. card. Nice, nice. Um, I'm excited. Um, although I have to go to Mexico and can't go. <laughs> but uh, guys, it's been an insane episode. Like and subscribe. Come to the Blue Collar Conference. You going to be there? I'm going to be there. Hey, hey, I'll, if you're looking for value, we can help, man. Follow us on our Instagram. We're putting tons of value there at Marcos Tax Out. Mm -hmm. I can show you how to tax out your business, man. We're here to help you, your business, your clients. Damn. And let's Ed help Milet. the American family. Ed Milet's got max out, but this guy's got tax out. That's who, what it came from. That's, That's badass, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Before you learn how to max out, let me teach you how to tax out. Hey, I'm down let's with go. it, okay? <laughs> let me tax out. All right.